If you're new to intermittent fasting, how can you tell if it's working for you? Today I will be sharing five signs to look for so that you know and pinpoint when intermittent fasting is starting to kick into action. Also, I will be sharing my experiences with intermittent fasting. So if it's not unusual, that one question people have about intermittent fasting is how long will it take before I can start seeing a change in my body? That's also why your breakfast is called break fast. In order to truly fast, you need to wait at least 12 hours from the last meal at dinner to eat your first meal, your breakfast. 12 hours of fasting is when autophagy starts to kick in and your cells begin cleansing themselves out. So very quickly, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Maria and welcome. I am an aesthetics instructor and examiner for many years. I have an online aesthetics training for individuals who want to become certified estheticians or for personal knowledge. Give me comments below, love to connect with you. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Give me a like, that will help my channel. Click on the notification bell so you will not miss any of my educational tutorial. So let's get started. As an esthetician, a trainer, a health coach, I find it interesting to learn about different eating styles. So incorporating intermittent fasting into my lifestyle was fun to do. Now, the only intermittent fasting method that appealed to me was the 16 hour fasting and eight hours of eating, or the once in a while I would do the 20 hour fast and then I had the four hour eating. And uh, so that is the one I personally experimented with and I'm gonna explain a little bit more how it works. I'm not usually hungry as soon as I wake up, but over the last few years, as I've started eating more intuitively and realized paying attention to my hunger cues, I realized that my desire to eat breakfast as soon as I woke up, it was not for me. So it was really out of habit rather than true hunger. Even before learning about the intermittent fasting, my breakfast has started moving later and later in the morning. And some days I wasn't even hungry for my first meal until around 11.30 or 12 noon, which is right on par <laughs> with the 16 slash eight fasting approach. My eating schedule looked like this and still is. At 12 p.m. I break my fast with, um, I will either have lunch or a breakfast, and most of the time I would have a big salad and maybe some hard boiled eggs. At the 3 p.m. I would have my actual lunch, which would be some leftovers or smoothies. I love smoothies, uh, protein bars, or something else quick and easy. And then at seven, I would have my actual dinner. I am noticing that I'm eating more veggies, especially my first meal of the day, and I am not snacking as much. Uh, I pretty much cut out all the after dinner snacking, the chips and the dips, totally out, which is uh, being easier than I thought. Nighttime eaters are eating out of boredom or a habit, not really hunger, or eating because they didn't eat enough during the day, uh, during those hours that you need to eat. So they're hungry at night. Either way, intermittent fasting gets you into a routine of eating your main meals within those eight hours feeding window. Period. I love coffee, I love the smell, and I'm okay with it. But at times during my intermittent fasting experiment, or even now, I felt like I was leaning on it a little bit too much to get through my fast. So I decided to have less coffee, 
have more herbal teas and hot water and uh, maybe with a little bit of lemon so I don't put too much calories in my water having hot water it really um, it made it almost like an appetite suppressant so it helped me to get to noon each day without eating so that was mainly my experience with intermittent fasting it's uh, it's easy for me now I do it every day um, now let's look at those five points that I mentioned before because intermittent fasting has a unique system of addressing weight loss and energy production there are a few ways to tell when intermittent fasting starts to work so number one you're not hungry intermittent fasting reduces hunger by increasing the fat burning process called lipolysis or lipolysis lipolysis <laughs> it helps to increase the fat burning process by naturally allowing the fat storing hormone the insulin to dip back down during the fasted state. This fat burning process provides a stable energy source for the body to use, which then single signals the body that you don't need to eat. Amazing, it is amazing. So number two, body fat percentage is going down. A review of intermittent fasting and weight loss found that intermittent fasting primarily uses fat as fuel and you do notice that because your belly fat and the fat on your waist is reducing now intermittent fasting is also unique in that it has been found to naturally boost muscle protecting hormones that's amazing such as growth hormone this combo helps to increase fat burning while sparing the muscle mass so you don't have to worry that while doing intermittent fasting your muscle will reduce mm -mm, none at all number three and this is really cool for people that feel bloated improved bloating and bowel movements one often forgotten or ignored benefit of intermittent fasting is that it inherently allows for the gut cleansing process called the migrating motor complex to be stimulated or the DMMC is only stimulated by not eating fasting and aid in flushing out left behind food and bacteria that typically causes bloating and I also want to include to take uh, foods that have uh, probiotics and uh, also take uh, your tablets probiotics and I have a link below one of the really good ones uh, eat uh, prebiotic foods like uh, um, kimchi uh, sauerkraut uh, I love kefir all those foods that help with your gut with a probiotic amazing number four increased energy levels one of the more well-known perks of intermittent fasting is that it stimulates cellular cleanup called autophagy and in my next couple of uh, tutorials I will be talking about autophagy so look for that one this process cleanse out dysfunctional mitochondria cells and cells that aren't really efficient at creating energy this cleaning process makes room for more highly functioning cells and mitochondria to flourish and provides for more stable energy levels not to mention the boost in fat metabolism fat breakdown provides a very stable energy source that is more reliable than glucose number five it decreases sugar cravings that is amazing with inherent increase in fat burning mechanism with intermittent fasting also comes a de the decrease in sugar cravings sugar cravings are largely physiological It's often a sign that you have neither not eaten enough protein or fat at your last meal or that the body is relying on sugar 
glucose as the energy source. When we switch over to use fat as fuel during the fasting period, this can help to greatly reduce sugar cravings. So ideally, you want to aim for a 16-hour fast with an 8-hour eating window. I, once in a while, try to have that 20-hour fast with a four eating window. And I usually try to do the 20-hour fast when I notice that I need a little bit of a boost or a kick because I do not want to get to that plateau. So as you can see, I really enjoy intermittent fasting. Moving forward, my plan is to stick with a moderate approach of eating breakfast whenever I start feeling hungry in the morning. And uh, so I'm really listening to my body. And usually that is around 12 p.m. noon, along finishing my dinner at the uh, early-ish hour around 7.38. This way, I won't be going to bed on a full stomach, so I'll still able to give my body a long break from the stress of digestion and some time to burn the fat. Look forward to my next tutorials on uh, different types of fasting. Uh, and I also have one coming up here, the benefits of fasting. Um, that is an amazing tutorial that I did last week. So, how long will you fast? What is the reason you want to experience intermittent fasting by choosing two or more reasons listed in this video? Uh, list them down below and let me know. Is it uh, more energy? Is it a little belly fat? Uh, what is it that you want to do this intermittent fasting for? I hope that you found this video to be useful and walk away with simple and easy tips on how to intermittent fast different kinds, the different benefits. Remember to treat yourself with love and respect. Check my other tutorials on intermittent fasting. Until the next time, take care. Uh, so what's tempting? <laughs>